so today I'll be swatching the Pat McGrath Mothership 7 palette called the Divine Rose, which is this palette right here on the left. I did it, I did get it in the uh, pink limited edition packaging. That's why it looks like this, but normally they just come in a really sleek black packaging. And he, I will be referring to the um, shade cards right here. So we're, let's get started. I'll be swatching with my fingers and swatching it on my arm with no primer. Let's get started with this shade here. It is a light shimmery champagne shade. And I'm going to do three swirls. That's what the shade looks like. Very pigmented. And I'm going to swatch it right here. That was with just one swipe. It has very small shimmers in there, so definitely a shimmery shade. I wouldn't call this a metallic, maybe a little metallic finish. But yeah, that's really pretty. Next, we're going to go, go to a matte shade here called Extreme Mahogany. Here's what this shade looks like on my fingers completely matte shade and it's medium brown here's one swipe it's a little patchy towards the end but I think that's just how I swatched it if I just blend it out a little bit it does kind of get better it's still a little bit um, splotchy here but it might be better when I put it on the eyes it's a warm tone medium brown color next we got this shade here and it is another matte that is called Valoria I might be pronouncing that wrong but Looks like Valoria, Valoria to me. Here's what this shade looks like. This one is a very unique shade. Um, it's like a cool toned gray purple. Is what I would describe it. And let's get it swatched right here. Oh wow, this one is much smoother than the other matte shade. Um, do you see how it's not as splotchy at the end here? It's much more smoother. That's really pretty. Wow, I like this one. Okay, next we got Love Lace. Watch this shade here. Here's what Love Lace looks like. To me, it looks like a taupey brown. Um, yeah, it's like a taupey brown with a shimmers throughout it. A little bit of purple shimmer that I see and a little silver shimmer. And swatched very smoothly. Next, this shade here, we got Sable Bronze. Here's what this shade. Ooh, wow. Okay, it's lighter than I expected on my finger because in the pan, I thought it was going to be a little darker, but to me, it looks like a warm brown, shimmer brown. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. Beautiful color. So it's like a, almost like an antique bronze. Very pretty. And it does have um, shimmers in there as well, kind of gold shimmers. Yep, here's what that one looks like. Next, we've got Rose Dusk this shade here all these shades are super smooth when I touch it um, looks like a medium tone dusty rose okay, I'm gonna put it right here okay here's what that one looks like it has less shimmer than oops sorry about that okay so this one has less shimmers than the shade before and the shimmers you here are silver at least I cannot see any gold shimmers. It's all silver shimmers here. That's what that looks like. Okay, next we're moving on to her special formulas, the last four. Um, we got Refined Gold 002. So these feel different um, for sure than the first six. Here's what it looks like. Ultra shimmery. Yeah, just a pretty standard light gold. Swatch it right here. So these are not as like pigmented as the previous ones, but it has a very, very pretty shimmer glitter throughout it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Maybe if I defocus the camera a little bit, can you guys see the shimmer? So compared to the other shades, the shimmer that you see from that gold shade is much more glitter and glittery and more apparent. So those why those are the reasons why people like the last four shades is for the shimmer. So there you go. That was. Refined Gold 2. And then the one right below it is called VR Rose Venus. Wow. Okay, this shade is pretty. So if I tilt my finger, it's pretty pink and gold. And even a little bit orange somewhere in there. Definitely um, multidimensional. Let's swatch that. Okay, so here's what that looks like. I love shades that are pink and gold. It's just so pretty on the eyes. And let's defocus that a little bit so you can see the glitter. 
Okay, so definitely gold glitter with a pink tone. All right, that's what that looks like. Next, we've got Iridescent Pink 003 right over there in the corner. Uh, let's watch that. Ooh. Okay, so here's this shade here. It's a white with a iridescence of pink. Okay, it's not... Oh, it shows up kind of here. Here is this focused. The iridescence is a little hard to tell on camera. Let me see if I dim the lights if that's going to help here. Um, kind of, you guys can kind of see the flip, the pink flip there. Okay. And let's defocus that and just look at the glitter. Yeah, you guys can see that the glitter is more pink here than the other two. Great. Now, last shade here is Astral Solstice. Here is what this looks like. Very pretty. Wow, this is very reflective. Um, it is a silver shade here. Let's watch it. Whoa. Okay, this definitely has the most glitter out of the four special effect shades. You can't even see it here without me defocusing. But it doesn't really have a base color. It's mainly just glitter. Very fine specks of glitter. And we're going to defocus the camera so you can look at the glitter a little better. Yeah, you can see um, the very last shade there, Astro Solstice, is definitely the most glittery out of the bunch. And this one here called Iridescent Pink is the least glittery. Um, but yeah, that's what everyone looks like. We focused and let's look at it zoomed in. And focused. I will be um, uploading a comparison video of shades that I have in my collection. I'm going to try to dupe this palette because I know it is very pricey. And I'll be uploading that very soon. But here is just a swatch video. I got these today, so I was too excited to not swatch it. But yeah, here you go. Here are the swatches again. Alright, thank you for watching.